breaking up Christmas the sound that wrapping paper makes
boys. My friend, we must hear our brother's voice. Cause I love you, but sometimes I just don't know how to say it. I mean, I've got some words, but I ain't sure where to place them. state wives to use in religious services and they got picked up by the law and so they confiscated the box they confiscated all the snakes but Jamie Coots went to the law and basically fought for this serpent box to be given back to him considering the meaning that it carried for him he ended up winning that box back to the state now it sits up and they, sometimes they carry it up there Jamie Coots was a preacher. He's a cold company blast. And Pumpkin Brown was his best friend. And in the hills they'd hold revivals. Till one day on Sand Mountain, the cane break in the battle. Pumpkin left for heaven. Jamie held him in the eye. So Jamie raised the son, in Jesus' name, holiness. He learned everything he knew from his daddy and the servants. As Cody grew, he seen his daddy was still hurt. As Jamie cried, So much more than 
put them on TV and they found some truck with the law in Tennessee who confiscated their serpent boxes and killed all their snakes. So Jamie fought the law, his son Cody by his side. See, one of them confiscated boxes was the one from which Pumpkin died. And that was just one thing they had to remember him by. And there wasn't a law in Tennessee that keep them from serving God. With Jesus in their hearts and lovers in their hands, faith was so much more than just a means to a man. And now they're still in the old church and now Don't play nothing but the radio With no count reception And stuck on AM 1270 But on Friday nights at 7 You can still hear Clunk and Free And now there's death in the box That's what Jamie always said As he packed a rattler in the pump he had soon be dead at a Holy Ghost meeting. Jamie's bit on the hands, fell in the arm of his son Cody, and went the same way as his friend. With Jesus in his heart and a lover in his hand, faith was so much more than just a means to an end. And now there's still an old church in that. It's 
invited me to come back, and Paula, and Mary, and all these folks here at the South Alabama asked me to come back. I was I began to get worried uh, that I wasn't gonna have no art because uh, I've been playing a lot of shows lately, and I haven't really. Uh, I've been playing a lot of shows, and then I've, I've created this massive exhibit over at Alabama Contemporary Art Center that took me two and a half years, and so I haven't had a lot of paintings, and I was like, hey, why, can I make this about my watercolors? And they were like, yeah, and I was like, yes! <laughs> so, uh, so here they are. And then, and then all in the other part uh, are some of Paul and Maureen's art, and some of Mary's art, and uh, Paula's, book covers. Paula's book covers. I've painted two book covers for Paula. I'm about to do the third one here pretty soon. And uh, they're over there, and uh, they ain't for sale. That's Paula's stuff. You'll have to. You'll have to. <laughs> but uh, all the tar paintings ain't for sale. Those already belong to folks. But uh, if y'all did want to buy some of these watercolors, you can. You can do that and just talk to Kathy over there. <laughs> but uh, you can't get them until the end of February because they got to stay in here. But some of them done been sold. So. Anyway, was that fancy enough art talk? That's a fancy art <laughs> talk. Do, do I sound real fancy? <laughs> See, I tell them, y'all. No, I don't. I don't know what's going on. It, it, uh, all this stuff just kind of happened at the same time, and it became. Then, you know, I got. I travel a lot, so I got people that. Uh, people that like to come, you know, want to come. So I was like, well, we'll just do it all for this week. So this this weekend is going to be the busiest weekend of my life. I'm practicing tomorrow with with the psych peas. We haven't played music in two years. We're going to go over to Stray's house and make sure that we don't suck, <laughs> which we probably do, and we'll have to work through the sucking and then uh, get it to where it's at least presentable uh, for Sunday night, or at least worth 20 bucks. I mean, uh, you know, it's not like, <laughs> like at least a $20 show. We'll get a $20 show out of it. And, uh, but, yeah, and I hope y'all can come on Saturday because that... Uh, know what to say about it other than it's weird to work on something for two and a half. I've never worked on anything in my life for two and a half years and then seen it at one place. It's really wild. But anyway. Alright. How about I sing another one more and then we'll just uh, kind of fellowship. You, is that going to be enough for you, Rob? Yeah. We're good. Anybody got a request? Breaking up Christmas. There we go. Oh man, Bruce, you got it, brother. I love this. I like to sing this song too. Some songs I sing, I have sang them to the point to where it's like, I don't really care to sing this song anymore, but this ain't one of them. <laughs> that's why I, sometimes I don't play songs. I, sometimes I just play them out, you know. It's like, okay, that's enough. This is the song I wrote about. Uh, I wrote about passing of time and as it relates to families. And 